Greetings respected viewers I hope you are doing really great Today I am there to assist you with a very interesting joyful and simple strategy Together we win together we'll make each other win Welcome to Grip Trade family Now I need to tell you a bit of the approach that I adopt for making consistent rewards you need to know that there exist many of the reputable strategies that are needed to be used while you trade you also understand that if you apply certain combination of indicator all the times that might not assist you to have consistency in rewards if you keep on using one strategy at all parts of the day i usually keep on back testing couple of months of data and then i summarize certain points of time where i see a consistency a winning percentage of 80% plus i use those certain parts of the day to trade only this means that i have certain combination of indicators needed to be used at different points of time the summary of all this stuff that i told you is that all strategies can be consistently rewarding for you but you need to have the specific points of time to use different strategies if you keep on relying one strategy all the times that might not assist you to have that much productivity so you need to understand this point and then i'll go towards the implementation of today's strategy that you have to use different combination of indicators for different points of time and that is how you can keep on getting rewarded consistently so getting rewarded consistently means that having a winning percentage of 80% plus i guess this is a good percentage overall yeah now let me remind you to do subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell notification button moreover let me know with your feedback and suggestions in the comment section of the video as well as you can reach me out on my contact details for having the updated information regarding different strategies needed to be used at different points of time as well as you are always welcome to leave me your queries or any sort of confusion and i'll be happy to respond let's switch towards the implementation of the strategy now and uh, also watch out my already uploaded thoroughly tested profitable strategies as well so today's strategy is a uh, really easy simple and interesting of course you need to select the chart type as candles for this once you have selected the chart type as candles you need to have the candle time as 1 minute so there you go you can even use this strategy at 30 seconds so there i go with 30 seconds now what i need to do is i need to set three indicators the first indicator that i need to use actually four okay stochastic oscillator and then cci and then moving average and the last is the parabolic sar there i go now these are really simple easy and convenient indicators don't worry i'll illustrate you how to use this strategy for having consistent results you need to understand that irrespective of any broker that you are using you can apply the strategy and make it really great stuff for you now as far as the stochastic oscillator is concerned you need to see the default settings are fine for me percentage k 14 percentage d3 smoothing 3 moving average type sma styles of your choice okay so
there I save it. Now as far as commodity channel index is concerned all you need to do is you need to set the point at 82 styles of your choice so there I save it now you need to edit the moving average as well you need to set the point of the moving average at 27 the type be set as EMA the exponential moving average styles of your choice save it now the second parabolic SR the acceleration point 0 to is fine the maximum acceleration point 2 is fine styles of your choice So there I go. Now all you need to understand is that there are two perfect points where you need to trade. You have to analyze them in the way that if the white moving average and the yellow dotted parabolic SAR line intersect each other then there is a signal okay. Now you need to know that as and whenever they intersect each other just like here you see if the stochastic oscillator is above or below the upper or the lower limit is above the upper limit or below the lower limit if you see the intersection happening of the moving average and parabolic SAR above the candles at this situation then you need to put a sell trade lower trade put option Similarly, as and whenever, now you see here the moving average line intersecting the yellow dotted parabolic SAR lines below the candles, but the CCI and RSI, oh sorry, CCI and the stochastic oscillator are not in the extreme limits. Even if there is an exception that you can skip CCI, okay? You can also skip but the signal gets more stronger if both are out of the regions. So if the stochastic oscillator is above the region here and CCI also is anywhere above the region then you could have opened a trade. So that is why this is deviating. This is not suggested. Now you need to see the third example in which you see this happening that the moving average line and the yellow dotted parabolic SAR are intersecting each other below the above the candles so once you see this happening you are confirmed at this point and then you put a sell trade you will surely win it okay you will surely win it because this is a 30 seconds candle and the purchase time is one minute so while the execution you would have won the trade okay the most important thing you need to see is the intersection of the both of the white and the yellow dotted lines uh, white moving average and the yellow dotted lines when they intersect each other then you have to see where the stochastic oscillator and CCI are so if they intersect each other among the candles on the candles that is not a signal and that is not suggested at all okay so let's see some other examples you see here the white moving average line intersecting the yellow dotted parabolic SAR line above the candles stochastic oscillator is somewhere below the lower limit CCI is in the middle range but still it is suggested because the stochastic oscillator is supporting it. So this is how you can analyze and keep on winning consistently if you know the exact points of time to use different strategies. I do not update the exact points of time in the video because they keep on getting modified a bit. So you are always welcome to reach me out on my contact details for having the updated information regarding different points of time to be used for different strategies and I'll be happy to assist you with all of them. Now you see this here, 
the white moving average intersecting the yellow dotted parabolic SAR line below the candle. So once you see this, the stochastic oscillator is above the upper limit. You can simply opt for a buy trade, a higher trade, a call option. So this is how you can keep on winning, keep on digging signals and keep on making returns for you. I hope you got the point which are very simple, easy and clear. I guess that's all for now. Um, you are always welcome to reach me out for any sort of assistance. See you then. Grip trade is a family. Stay in touch. Stay happy. Stay connected. Take a lot of care. See you. Respectable viewers, I hope you liked the video. For more informational stuff, stay tuned to the channel. I've been into trading since years and I aim to impart all that knowledge in you people. Other than that, for any collaborative ideas or any sort of queries that you want to get resolved, you can contact me on my personal details mentioned in the video description.